Welcome to the Bar Sports Podcast. Smash that like button, smash that sub button, and ring that bell. Let's get it. The bar. The bar. What's going on? What's up, man? How y'all? How y'all? How was y'all weekend, man? We here for the week 14 recap. Had a great weekend of football. Great, great weekend of football. Football still going on right now. I was, just, I was just thinking, should uh, I, should I say Dolphins and Chargers? Dolphins Chargers playing right now. We right get, now we, we get this out to y'all, to y'all really before Stephen ate them up. So, uh, yeah, uh, what, what, what games should we start at today? Um, our Bills, Jets, Bengals, Browns, Eagles, Giants. Let's hop on that, 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 that Bills, Jets game. All right, so uh, Bills won 20 to 12. Josh Allen threw for 147 yards. Mike White, 268 yards. What do you think of the Me- game? Measly, measly game for Josh Allen, but. I'm glad got, you, I'm, 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 I'm glad you, know, you can I, attest I'm a man, to that. I'm a man of my word. I'm glad you can attest to that. I'm not going to sit here like he played good or whatever because it, it was bad. He didn't throw any interceptions, so that's okay. And he got a rushing touchdown, and he rushed for 47 yards, so. He made he made it happen for them to get that division win, and that's cool because I want to say they already lost to the Jets earlier this season for sure, twenty to seventeen. So yeah, we'll take that win. I ain't gonna say we. But I, we'll I feel, take that I feel win. like the Jets, man. Y'all could have y'all could have won this game. Mike White. I feel like that's a, that's their QB of the future. Uh, Definitely. Uh, what what's the QB they have? I, I forgot his name. He he probably ain't gonna play no more in the league. Zach Zach Wilson. He he's yeah. not even dressing out anymore. They got him in the hoodie. They had already got Joe Flacco, so it was kind of like they was they was trying to get somebody to just get him out the court. I mean, off the field anyway. Yeah, Joe Flacco actually threw an interception uh, when Mike White got hurt today. Uh, he got hurt. He came out of the game two or three times, went back in the tunnel, but he, he tried to fight through and come back, they must have tried to help his team. You said what? They must have called it back. He don't got no interception right here. Who, Joe? Yeah. He don't got an interception right here. Oh. Must have called it back. Yeah, they must, they, I, I guess they did call he it back. He did go man. one for three, though, with one yard, though. So, I mean, that's Dang. So I, so, I wonder what, what was the two turnovers in that, that they got on the stat line? It had to be fumbles because they don't have any interceptions. I remember the fumble from uh, – Yeah, two fumbles lost. Joe Flacco fumbled the ball. And my, oh, oh, so that's, that's, oh they probably yeah. called it a fumble. Okay. Actually, bad, bad. they fumbled it three times, but they lost it twice. Mike yeah, fumbled Michael twice. Carter. Michael Carter fumbled <laughs> – um, when they were second and two, it was nine to twenty. Uh, they looked like they was finna come back and actually do some, but you know he fumbled and you know what Buffalo does they they'll, they'll make you pay for that. Yeah, big 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 AFC division win for Buffalo Bills. They yeah, got, they uh, most definitely needed that. Definitely needed that win, and then next week you got to play Tua. He was sixteen for twenty seven. I, I feel like he got a he has they, they brought him there it was like for just, that it was like for a, though for these type of yeah, games and gritty, these conditions. It was a gritty like yeah, the cold weather. Yeah, the north, cold weather. Yeah, facts. gritty like New York. New York's not bad. They trying to make some shake over there, so yeah. it, it it was the type of game it had to be. I just wish it would have looked a little bit better for him personally. Um, yeah, I got Miami next week. Miami right now losing to the Chargers, so never know. Yeah. What, never know what they'll do to the <laughs> psyche of Tua Tugalovia or whatever, however you say it, Tugalovia. I just call him Tua. Tua, just call him Tua. <laughs> but yeah, never know what's gonna do to the psyche because that'll probably be the first L for him as a starter this season. Yeah, Bills are ten and three now. Jets seven and six. And next game, Bengals and Browns. Bills number one in the wet in, in the AFC right uh, now. Yeah, yeah, they By are. By the way. Say that uh, they are no no debate there. Bengals Browns. Uh, Bengals won twenty three ten today. Um, Deshaun Watson. I feel like he's coming back from from what he's been through. He hasn't played football. Twelve missed. Twelve hasn't, missed weeks. Yeah, and he also haven't thrown a touchdown in seven hundred and seven days that I saw today. So mm-hmm. he's just working himself back into the game. You know, he was twenty six for twenty twenty. No, twenty six for forty two today. Two hundred seventy six yards, one touchdown, one interception. Like thirty three on the, on the ground. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you know he can he, he can do it. it's over three hundred yards for him. I feel like Cleveland's gonna be a team to look out for in the future. You know, just because you know they got a, they got a good defense. They got that uh, Miles Garrett on the line. You know, he's coming out do, doing what he does. Um, but they're always being tough games within their division. You know, they got the Steelers and, and the Ravens. You know, I hope Lamar can stick around with Baltimore, but we'll see. Nah, I think I think Lamar's gonna be. What do you think of Joe Sykes' game today? Versus those Browns, 18 for 33, 239 yards. It, it was cool. 
It who? Was cool. nothing, nothing too amazing. It was. It was. It wasn't nothing, nothing too amazing. But I'm not gonna go. I'm, nobody had an MVP like performance this weekend. So he was without his two. Uh, not his best receiver. Jamar Chase did play. He was unstoppable. He, he was he unstoppable. Played. He went crazy. Yeah. Now we can talk okay. about Jamar Chase being a top three receiver in the league. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Last time we saw I wouldn't Jamar ask Chase, why is he, he not in the Super Bowl? Yeah, he is top three. Yeah, he come. He's he comes top three. back this year a little late. I mean, his first year. Was his first year was last year. year. His, his first year was last year. Exactly. So it's kind of like, and then he comes back this year, and now he back into the offense. Second game back into the offense, he gets ten receptions for one hundred and nineteen yards and a touchdown. He almost had a hundred last off last targets, year. Though, so not right. last year, but last game versus the Chiefs. If we remember that. All fifteen uh, targets though, so it's obvious yeah. that. Um, Higgins know. and Boyd did not play today. Uh, Joe Burrow's other two weapons. So, yeah. uh, I feel like he played an okay game without 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 two of I mean, the top he, three he stars. Threw it to Jamar Chase off. Yeah, he did. He didn't throw fifteen. It to anybody, he threw that on fifteen he times. Half as much as he threw the ball to anybody else. Yeah. Um, he good was, win for Cincinnati. That that was a division win. For yeah, yeah, it was. Right? It was a lot of division games. Yeah, there. so you had to go ahead and handle that one. Um, we can move on to Eagles Giants. Eagles Giants. Forty eight twenty two. Hold on, before you hop on that. Before you hop on that. <laughs> I never got happy about this season, bro. I don't want I don't want nobody out there to feel like I got happy about this shit. I don't want nobody to feel like I did. I did. I did. To my face about the fucking Giants, bro. Because when we were seven and two. I just was like, oh, yeah, we 7-2. But I said at the beginning of the season, I don't give a fuck how many games we win. We're going to find a way to sell. We got Daniel Jones. I'm like, I need to stop tapping this nigga now. But <laughs> Daniel, Jones, <laughs> Daniel Jones is the worst quarterback in football, bro, and I don't care what nobody say. And then the offense that we run is just not I just don't think he'll win a game for you. Enough. I don't think Daniel Jones will win it. It's but he's just, not but losing not the game for the he's not losing the game for the teams anymore like he used to. The thing is, because he he's gotten accustomed to throwing the short routes. So now, okay, I got the short routes down, but when it's called upon him to make the big plays, those don't connect ever. His right. big plays. But I would say his big play used to try to beat we used to be he just throw a lot of interceptions. But I feel like with Brian Day 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 Bull as a head coach, he coached Josh Allen when Josh Allen was bad and then he came good. I feel like Maybe maybe Daniel uh Daniel Jones, Jones could he you don't think he has Josh the same talent. Allen, no. He 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 doesn't. He, I feel like this is his ceiling though. But this is it's his ceiling he, he right just, now. He he Ryan, he like Ryan Tannehill and it's like mm. everybody got this where's the faith coming from though? It's like you see him do The faith is coming from other facets of the football team besides the quarterback. Exactly. So why are people putting faith in him? Because he gets We the saw him over the offseason when when he fucking threw that shit in the dirt like he ain't have no fucking arm on him. Like it's bad. It's bad. Barkley, nine Saquon, carries, 28 yards. Terrible, but he did have a neck injury, so I don't know if it was like. You know what they say, man. You out there, you out there, man. I mean, bro, he always hurt. So, that just make it worse. Shit, Sterling Shepard always hurt. Just, uh, just a hurt team. A hurt team with a bad quarterback. Eagles take a bite out of the big apple. 169 yards. You said that corny ass shit, bro. Shut <laughs> out, bro. Nigga, I told this man not to say. Hey, that. I, I wanted to say that. Squad, and I texted him that early. I was thinking, I was like, man, this one of the topics we will talk about. Eagles, Eagles took a bite out of the big apple. Corny ass shit about my squad. Speaking bro. of the Eagles, though, 437 total yards. Jalen Hurts looking like seven sacks. Looking like a fucking MVP. Is he though? Two hundred, but not the MVP. It's like his, looking like a MVP. His quarterback rating is the the and his running his running ability are the, like the best parts of his game. Yeah, but it's like we've seen. This. I feel like you you we've gonna get that. We've seen these abilities in other quarterbacks. And other, I was just thinking on that another level for yeah. what he's doing. Yeah, and I see it what you're saying. It doesn't seem MVP like mm. as, as it would usually. Yeah. Now he he leading in, in touchdowns, rushing touchdowns for quarterbacks, and that makes a lot of sense because, I mean, like he he don't he don't run all game like Lamar Jackson. He's like more like a red zone threat type of thing. Like, yeah. So. Uh, I don't know. People like to compare him to Vic. I would like to compare him to like, like another level of like Russell Wilson when he was in his prime. Mm. Like he he really nice. How you know Russell Wilson when he was on Seattle? He was nice. Yeah, yeah. He was super nice. Like when it came to just like making plays and t and the touch, and he didn't have to be perfect. Russell Wilson, but he he made plays. We are gonna get there. We are gonna get there. <laughs> That's a good little segue. We are gonna get there. Um, Miles Sanders, one hundred and forty four yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giants point. run defense, man. Seventeen carries. 144 yards. That's 8.6. Run defense. Every time, they, every time he gave him the ball, he's running for eight yards. I don't yards. think we get we gave up 253 yards to anybody else this year on the ground. 
So I'm gonna just go ahead and just give kudos <laughs> to Philadelphia. And yeah, yeah, no God. Thank you for putting us out the playoffs. And I know we still got a chance, but do we really still got a chance? Yeah, yeah better, really better they just go chance. home than to get let down we in the playoffs. We just went 3 and one. I would rather just wrap this up. Yeah. To tell everybody in the locker room, hey man, Daniel Jones is not the guy. We're gonna go find somebody else in the draft. In the draft, he's not the guy, bro. Can we go get um? Uh, C.J. Stroud or fucking probably uh, not. Probably gonna pick can that we high. get bro? We should be able to. We've been terrible for a minute now. How? The NFL is kind of different from the NBA though when it comes yeah. to the draft. The niggas do be trading their picks too. Record for real. Like, yeah. Okay. Chiefs Broncos. Yeah, let's talk about how right. the fucking Chiefs almost sold. Fucking almost to, sold to not even Russell Wilson. Just call him Sierra husband. Yeah, Sierra husband. Almost <laughs> sold to Sierra husband. Almost sold to Sierra husband. <laughs> No, though today he looked like Russell Wilson, though. Three today he looked like Russell Wilson until he – I'm not going to say he flopped. He had over 300 yards just by yet. himself of total offense. Patty threw 352 yards, 28 for 42. Three, three, interceptions. three interceptions. Three interceptions. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I, I watch this game closely in, 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 in detail. Uh, number 52 on Denver Broncos. Um, he might be black. He the way he caught some of those interceptions, <laughs> I, I just feel like we're we're, we're mad in the interceptions. Like, they were mad in like he was mad in like like he's reaching, he's he's re reading he read the eyes. The way, he, yeah, he faked the way like a hop and then he jumped straight back. Yeah, said, fact, I, I fact, need that. fact. I need that. Okay, the first one put something in his head, but three interceptions, Pat Mahomes, that's outrageous. Yeah, I, I, you were you were up in this game twenty seven to zero, and he has a tendency to just when when, when we get up. He has a tendency just to start throwing, throwing he, shit. He, he doesn't he have to, stu- to he throw. He likes to stuff the stat sheet. I that you know what that you might have an argument there. I think he he is trying to win MVP. Like earlier in the season, he was just taking what the defense gave him. I, I feel like I these picks today, yeah. these picks today were too. It was, they, these niggas, they they. I mean, they were not open. I mean, but possibly you could get the ball there, but like why try just Patty, try to find open? Patty could get it there, but he didn't. Yeah, he, he can get it there. Certain yeah, we, yeah, facts though. Because it it just wasn't called for. But hell of a play is about a linebacker though. Cause them had hell of a play. I don't think everybody making them plays. Though. Everybody not making them plays. Everybody's though. not Denver making those just plays. Just had a different spirit in the air today. But I'm glad we was playing against Broncos though, cause you guys let us end up win. You know. Yeah, I think this game means nothing. Travis I Kelsey, think, what are you doing, man? I think Kansas City chops it back up. He did drop a touchdown. Yeah. He did drop a touchdown. And then he, the light got in his eye on one, one open yeah. connection early. But they still scored. You know, the commentator said something about that. He said that that might be a factor in the game, uh, the shadow on, on the field, mm. and, and the way that the sun was visible in the in the player's eyes. So, uh, But, you know, good thing we play those guys again before the season ends. So, Hopefully we get to get a real blowout in next time that we decide to suit up for them. Okay, we talked about Tampa Bay hmm. yeah, on our did. last we did uh, show. We did, and I personally said that I think that anybody else could beat Tampa Bay if they don't get if, for the San Francisco 49ers if they don't go get Baker Mayfield. I said anybody else. <laughs> I said anybody else. Brock Purdy, and it it wasn't so Purdy. <laughs> <laughs> today it wasn't so perfect. It, it wasn't. He threw that. Tom 30, Brady threw the ball 55 times today. 35 what? points of offense from the San Francisco 40, 49ers today, and it didn't happen in the fourth quarter. He Zero threw, points of, of offense in the fourth quarter. So it could have got uglier. Yeah. I, 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 if they had a real quarterback, yeah, it probably would have got uglier. 35-7. Yeah, this was just a hot game for him. He, he just happened. He only threw for 185 he, he, yards. He just happened with 185 yards, two touchdowns. Yeah. He like, hey. We gonna get this dub. We gonna we gonna take it on. Two interceptions. Brady one touchdown. The Bucks record is now I think they're under five hundred. But you know they'll make the playoffs. Seven. They're six and seven. Of course they made the playoffs because they're in the same division as the fucking Falcons and Saints and, and, Saints and Panthers. And so the Panthers. you know whenever you're in a division with with those three teams, you always got a chance. So um, let's hop back. Yeah. Over, oh um, Debo. My, my, I, I, oh. I hope Debo. I hope we get well soon, Best man. That's how you go Debo. down. Best wishes, Best wishes to Debo, man. Hopefully it's, uh, it's not too serious. Speedy recovery. We'd love to see you in the playoffs. Going to be a big factor for your team to win a Super Bowl. For sure. They need you. 
So I, I really do hope that it's not that bad. You yeah. Know, you see a grown man. You got carted off. You see a grown man cry. The wheels and, came and out there. Get on that cart. Yeah. Not too. You can't. And, you and was holding his knee. Know. Like it was a three signs holding his knee on the cart, crying. Yeah. So. What do you think happened? Last time I saw that it was Marcus <laughs> Lattimore. I don't know if people remember that, but no, it was a, I dis, don't. It was a dislocated uh, leg thing. Damn. Yeah, so that's not seen that. This this is no not on such. Remember the first time it ever happened? You know Kevin uh, where? Kevin remember Lee. from uh, See, Louisville? Marcus Lattimore had happened like right before that. For real? Like yeah, around right the same season, oh. like football. Season. That was like two thousand. I was I was a legit then. Yeah, probably like two thousand and fourteen. Kevin Ware, because Kevin Ware was still playing at Go Georgia State. He played at Georgia State when he came back off his injury when I was in high school. So oh, for real? Probably was like yeah. 2015. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Type shit. But, okay. Yeah, but seven points of offense from Tampa Bay off of 55 passing attempts. 55 passing attempts. We're going to talk about this every episode. How are you nearly getting to 60 pass attempts? And you're not even scoring over 21 points. You're not even scoring over 14 points. We could, we could take a little. Well, I mean, eight well, points. Eight <laughs> points. Ten. Like, give me something. You're not even you getting into. Are you something. not even getting into field goal range of a 55 pass attempts? What 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 are they drawing up over there? Two interceptions. Brady. I don't. I don't think they're drawing up shit. That's what, that's what I don't think. I don't think they're drawing up anything. They just like. What are they like? Plagued with injury. Michael Evans played. Michael nobody, Evans nobody played. to just scoop up. I bet they miss uh, Antonio Brown now. He'll make Put some that shit, shit on. He'll be, he'll be making some shit shake. <laughs> Put that song. shit on. Put that shit on. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> now he's making hit records. Yeah, now he's making hit and records. Very close to signing. He got a song with Thug deal. and Gunner. Three sixty deal on the way. Yeah. <laughs> shit, we were rap, we were rap, rap podcast. No. <laughs> Everybody just like. <laughs> But uh, let us guys know what game you guys watched this this weekend and what thoughts you guys have on the on the games hold on, we label here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We missing one. We missing one. We missing one. Let's talk about Minnesota selling. Minnesota se- Minnesota sold to Detroit today. Not, not too big. Detroit played good football. They played good football. I feel like that was. I don't think Vikings record. I don't think their record indicates how powerful of a team they are. They can These be the, had. The Lions is record. They can be don't. had. Yeah. But Kirk Cousins threw for four hundred fucking yards. Jay Jettas. Two, over 200 yard receiving. Hey, what can you say? Yeah, but dude. I guess it wasn't on Kirk because did he throw a pick? He didn't throw no pick. So I'm kind of figuring out how do they how lose? You know what I'm saying? He had 425 yards. And he only bro. missed 10 passes. It's kind of like, what, what's going on? What really happened? Jared Goff had 330 mm-hmm. yards, three touchdowns. Dalvin Cook, 15 carries, 23 yards. Mm-hmm. 1.5 by average? Yeah, Dalvin, Dalvin Cook got clamped. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the ball. He had a touchdown, though. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. He scored that first quarter, mm, like first quarter games. early in the game because I remember seeing that. That's ugly. Yeah, it is. Oh, he came back. TJ Hawkinson returned back to his former team. Destroyed Lions got traded two, from early in the season. Two lost fumbles. Oh, fumbles? I, I bet. You know what? That's not even on the quarterback then. That's, yeah, it's on, that's on the it's receiver. On back. Oh, yeah. Who, who, whoever Dalvin, has the ball. Dalvin Cook and TJ Hawkinson are another receiver on the team. But now, if you like this, um, damn. If you like this segment, comment down below. You know, the bar. The bar. <laughs>